and welcome to another episode of Cafe 21. In the hot seat today, we have Amar Mirza, a um, renowned businessman and uh, consultant in the world of business and entrepreneur. How are you, Amar? I'm great. Thanks, Ross. I'm delighted to be here. Smashing, Amar, smashing. Uh, so as I said, you're a very, very successful businessman uh, and entrepreneur. Um, your, your kind of portfolio, your body of work is, uh, is very, very impressive, um, including some of the charitable work that you do. Um, but amongst all that over your career what are some of your highlights um great question ross so uh, a, a number of highlights have been sort of the career that i had early on which was within technology uh, so started off uh within technology in the 90s and had to learn technology in great depth and detail it uh, wasn't a case of plug and play uh, and, and had some hugely innovative projects and programs that I became responsible for. But then coming out of that, continuing that um, sort of innovation journey and growing several businesses to getting to where I am now, uh, you know, the thing that I've enjoyed the most is the, the variety. Uh, they say that's the spice of life. I, as the founder of the Asian, Asian Business Connection, I think that's one of your more proud projects that you're a, you've been a part of in your over your career. Do you want to tell me a little bit about the Asian Business Connection? Yeah, so my late father, he was a, a community leader. He was a professional, highly educated. And, um, and, and growing up and seeing his influences was, was quite interesting. But it wasn't something I was really that um, sort of enamored by. And, and I was just wanted to be an entrepreneur. But um, as I started uh, developing my relationships, you want to give back. And uh, I realized sitting on various forums that there wasn't a voice for the Asian community across the Northeast. So in 2009, I'd set up uh, Asian Business Connections, a not-for-profit social enterprise, and have grown it to become the foremost trade body in the Northeast and across the North, representing Asian businesses primarily, but an inclusive organization. So very, very proud of it but equally need to acknowledge uh, it's been done in a collaborative way. So there are various other people who have supported and helped and led the journey throughout. Yeah, um, and I, I, in 2020, um, it's obviously been a very challenging time for businesses, uh, for young entrepreneurs trying to make their stamp on the world and in, in the business world. Um, what advice do you have for young professionals, young businessmen and women out there looking to make their stamp in a very, you know, almost like a cutthroat industry, but some uh, very challenging times at the moment. Well, I don't doubt the challenge that we have, and in particular future young generation. Um, and indeed, sort of everybody's going through something that's never been experienced before. But, you know, the, the, the three things that I think um, can have the biggest impact on anyone is being patient, persevering so having that vision and you know really really continuing um but above all else being positive right because patience perseverance and positivity are the three core traits that have demonstrated throughout time who becomes successful in their ambition in their aspiration and who doesn't so, you know, they're the three things, and that's my advice. Um, you know, and I, I'm trying to be a bit more patient in this world. Uh, I must admit it's challenging, but I'm trying to, to take a leaf out of my own book. No, it's, it's very good advice, and I'm sure I think I can picture you having sort of the three Ps written on your wall somewhere and just going to them every day. Absolutely. And, you know, okay, be, be more patient today, be more positive today. Yeah, so I like that. That's very good advice for young entrepreneurs out there. Um, but now you are, uh, you've are you been a part of STGC with us in, uh, over the last year or so. You were uh, uh, the host of our, our opening webinar, our launched webinar, and you're going to be a keynote speaker at the event. Um, we talk about our goals a lot at STGC, and we, we set ambitious goals for ourselves. Uh, I'm sure you do the same. How important is goal setting in the business world, uh, both short term and long term, to make sure that you achieve everything you want to as a, as a businessman? Well, uh, look, without having a goal, you cannot score. And someone who's involved in sport, right? Um, yeah. and, and recognizing that, and, and of course it's an analogy, but 
you know, without being able to score, how do you know you're onto a successful path or not? So single most uh, important thing is goals, but making sure that goals are you know, um, achievable, they're realistic, and it's wonderful to have dreams, right? We should all have dreams, but unless they are achievable and realistic, they just become fantasies, right? And the one thing that sets a, a dream and a fantasy apart is having a goal. So the most important thing is a goal and you know, being part of STGC for me is the highlight of this year. And I think the, the team, the passion, you know, that positivity, that everybody's demonstrated, whether they're involved in the core organization or being touched by it, and indeed driven by you know, the wonderful Shireen, you know, Sister Shireen, um, she's an incredible character. I'm so proud to have known her, actually, most of her life, which is interesting. We, uh, we met early on, there's a huge gap in the middle, and it's delightful to reconnect. But you know, STJC, um, the three pillars that uh, Sister Shireen talks about, they're, they're amazing. But for me, the, the one thing that STGC does is it captures, it creates, and it delivers value. And that includes to everybody involved, but more importantly, for the whole community. Fantastic. And we are obviously delighted to have someone with your business acumen. Um, and your passion and your drive on board with us. And I'm delighted to have you as a, as a teammate. Um, thank you very much, Amar. I think you're, you were fantastic again here on Cafe 21. Um, and we uh, I look forward to working with you in the future. And you too. Thanks, Ross. All the best.